Kilo Juliet 4, Romeo Echo Kilo Jim. Um, this is Floyd in um, South Carolina. I just wanted to uh, do a quick test with you. I'm on my desk mic mountain desk microphone right now, and I wanted to, I ordered a, a microphone that comes with this 7300 ICOM, and I want to try to get away from the desk mic and use a mic. So. If you have the time, can I switch over to the hand mic and you tell me how it sounds compared to this one? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I've got uh, zero level, matter of fact, on your that microphone, so uh, go ahead and uh, and switch. Matter of fact, on your that microphone, so uh, go ahead and uh, and switch. Now I'm on the hand mic, it's not going to be as loud because it's not amplified. Um, but the quality and everything is, um, is it loud enough, etc. KJ4 RE back here. Hey, it's ballpark. Now, the way you want to work that hand mic is uh, pull it to the side of your lips and talk across it. Pull it to the side of your mouth and talk across it. Roger, roger. Across it. Pull it to the side of your mouth and talk across it. Roger, roger. Roger, Roger. Yeah, that's what I'm doing with it, but um, according to the ALC, it doesn't seem to be, it's, a, it, it's not hot, that's for sure, but um, is the quality of the sound okay? Roger. Now it sounds uh, just uh, about uh, a, little, a little more upper mids than the, the uh, desk mic that you're using. Has just a little bit more upper mids than uh, the mic that you're using, uh, your desk mic, but other than that, uh, they're very similar, Roger. Uh, and your desk mic, but other than that, uh, they're very similar, Roger. Oh, okay, and it, it, it's plenty loud enough, right, because the mic game doesn't go any higher than it's wide open. Uh, Roger, Roger. Well, you know, just uh, keep in contact with your ALC. That will tell you precisely where you are. And uh, you, on your, on that stock uh, 7300 hand mic, uh, you probably you would need to be around 50 uh, percent, uh, uh, usually 50, 60 percent uh, mic gain. Uh, I, I don't really uh, use mic gain very often as a reference by itself. Uh, usually, uh, mic gain is um, d determined by uh, what the AOC meter wants to see, Roger, and the AOC meter wants to be mid scale to two thirds. Hey, Roger, and the AOC meter wants to be mid scale to two thirds. Roger, Roger. Yeah, but uh, I'm back on the desk mic now. The desk mic, I run it at 50%, but the uh, hand mic, I seem to have to run it at 100% just to get the watt meter to move. <laughs> but. Um, well, at least it sounds sort of similar, so if I do decide to use it, it's, it's not too bad, and the audio is not too low. So, thank you once again. Keep up the good work, partner. You're helping out a lot of people. Kilo, Juliet 4, Romeo, Echo, Zulu, 7-3, buddy. Roger, roger. Now, uh, again, uh, you know, we do recommend that compressor at a 3. Uh, and then mid to 2 thirds uh, by way of uh, my game manipulation. Um, and uh, you... Uh, Probably want to be, you know, about 50% uh, uh, maybe on that microphone. Do you know what your uh, internal microphone gain is uh, at the moment offhand? What your uh, internal microphone gain is uh, at the moment offhand? You mean on the radio? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, well, right now it's at number 5. It goes from 0 to 10, but with the hand mic, I have to use it on 10. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's uh, okay. And you're not. Uh, the thing I'm getting at is that uh, sometimes, you know, with a powered microphone, uh, if you wind up with your uh, mic gain control way up, uh, and uh, you know you're looking in for distortion by overload, so uh, you know mid range on that mic gain is is g always good. You know that gives you some uh, some headroom as far as uh, possible distortion. So that I would suggest you know running that uh, internal uh, mic gain at about f five fifty percent, and then you can uh, do the rest uh, with the, uh, the the desk mic gain if you want to. But the you know what the, the whole point is that the ALC meter running mid scale to two thirds is the important thing. How, how you get there is you know uh, less important than getting there. 
know, uh, less important than getting there. Roger, Roger. But here, in your opinion, the the stock microphone, the uh, the handheld microphone, was um, adequate enough to use if I decide to use it on a daily basis. Yes, sir. On a seventy three hundred, that that's what we're talking about, Roger. Seventy three hundred. Yes, sir. On a seventy three hundred, that that's what we're talking about, Roger. Seventy three hundred. No, no, no. I'm, I'm on a seven oh six, but um, I'm I don't have the original HM one oh three microphone, so I bought one for a seventy three hundred because they always sound so good. But I know that microphone was made specifically for the seventy three hundred. Well, yeah, but uh, I mean that microphone is just a jewel, and uh, it should work on on almost anybody's radio that has a uh, uh, DC uh, for phantom power for that uh, electret microphone, Roger. For uh, phantom power for that uh, electret microphone, Roger. Roger, Roger. Uh, while you were talking, I went ahead and switched back to the. Uh microphone, and I don't have any compression on either. Yeah, Roger. Yeah, Roger. Well, you know, the, the whole point is that we want to, the important thing is that we get that radio t to a 3 dB dynamic range, which means you're uh, you're running 80 to 85 percent average peak modulation. If you're not running a uh, 3 dB dynamic range, then your uh, modulation average percentage is going to be going to be down. Uh, so, uh, what you want to be sure is that uh, you know our standard setup is a compressor processor on at a three, and then adjust the mic gain control to where you're running uh, your ALC mid scale to two thirds. And once you do that, then you're uh, you know you're running a 3 dB dynamic range, Roger. Dynamic range, Roger. Roger. Okay, so I have the compression on now. The ALT is only going about halfway or so, maybe a little more. Roger. Well, the actual sweet spot for our setup is uh, right halfway between uh, mid scale to two thirds. The sweet spot is uh, be absolutely between those two, but you can't just sit there, so you have to have a range. So we say mid scale to two thirds, Roger. Roger, Roger. Okay, so I increased it. Um, how does that sound? KJ4REZ, back to you. Sounds good here. I, I would take that. I can see your dynamic range is around 3 dB, so uh, that's uh, what uh, we look for, Roger. It's around 3 dB, so uh, that's uh, what uh, we look for, Roger. Okay, and this is with the hand mic. Awesome. That's what I was looking for, because... Um, I'm going to be repositioning radio equipment, and it would be a lot easier just to use a hand mic, you know what I mean? Roger, Roger. Obviously, uh, you know, uh, again, your ALC is the Bible. So you get that ALC running mid-scale to two-thirds. I don't care if you're, you're using a piece of bob wire for the microphone. If you can get that, micro that bob wire to run mid-scale to two-thirds on your ALC, you're, you're almost done, Roger. I'm looking at it as I'm speaking now, and that's about where it's at. Maybe a tad softer, but I don't want to turn the compression up anymore. I have to use brew driver in the side of the radio to do that. So in your opinion, it, it, it sounds okay. Yeah, Roger. Now, you have a screwdriver adjustment for your uh, for your uh, uh, compression gain. Is that a Roger? Uh, for your uh, uh, compression gain. Is that a Roger? Yeah, it's, it's, the radio is very old. It's like 25 years old. It's a little tiny radio, and uh, there's a little hole in the side of the radio, and you stick like a watch screwdriver in there, and then you can adjust it. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, you're doing amazing for feats like that, Roger. Well, uh, you're doing amazing for feats like that, Roger. Roger, Roger. I mean, I can turn it up if you think it needs more compression. Well, you know, first I think you need to decide on one mic or the other, really. I mean, it, each mic is different. 
and you obviously have mic gain differences between those two mics. So you're going to spend the rest of your life uh, swapping back and forth. You're going to be, you know, making adjustments back and forth. So I would, I would uh, pick one mic or the other and uh, kind of stick with it, you know? Uh, pick one mic or the other and uh, kind of stick with it, you know? Roger, roger. Well, yeah, well, with the desk mic, I don't run compression because I don't need it. But um, with this one, I think it needs a little bit anyway. Roger, well, now, you know, if that microphone, if the desk mic is non-compression uh, in straight amplification, then, uh, you know, part of our procedure is the, uh, the uh, mic um, compressor on at a three. If there is no other compression going on in the in the desk mic itself, then uh, I would uh, get my internal compressor on at a three. That's part of our part of our setup. Uh, now, if the if the desk mic is exhibiting some compression within itself, obviously that would be a consideration. But if it's uh, a linear audio out of that uh, desk mic, it would still fall within the, a, a three. You know, uh, uh, three. Uh, uh, number three is set up on the uh, compressor, Roger. Uh, three, uh, uh, number three is set up on the uh, compressor, Roger. Roger, Roger. Yeah, that's that's the problem. It's it's an amplified ICOM desk microphone, and it's very hot. So that's why I normally have the mic in around uh, between a three or a five on the radio. And then uh, when I use this one, I got to turn it all the way up. When I get to get a little extra more, I got to put the compression on. Roger. So, uh, you know, the ideal setup with that uh, desk mic would be, um, uh, let's see, compressor on at a 3, internal mic gain at uh, a 4 or a 5, and then uh, adjust your, um, your uh, desk mic volume for mid-scale to two-thirds on your ALC meter. For mid-scale to two-thirds on your ALC meter. Roger. Yeah, I'll have to get it out a try. I was trying to get away from the desk mic. That's why I was playing with this one. That way I could, you know, sit back in the chair and, and talk on the radio when I feel like responding to something uh, versus then having to lean forward, you know, with the desk mic and stuff. So that's why I was I was playing around with the idea of um, using a hand mic. Anyhow, I won't keep you. You've been very helpful, and thank you so much. And I'll let you pick somebody else up out there in the group. Kilo Juliet 4, Romeo Echo Zulu. Thanks again, Jim 73. Roger, Roger, Floyd 73, sir. And uh, uh, remember, work that uh, side mic to the side of your, to the corner of your lips, work across it. And that way you'll avoid uh, transients. Otherwise, uh, if you work directly into it, you'll get uh, all kinds of uh, pops and bees and peas and stuff you don't want. So just pull it to the side of your lips and, and work across it. 73, Floyd. We'll catch you later. This is KC9VKV, the Friday afternoon Kiss of You Like Net. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Kiss of You Like Net. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. You know, it's funny that you caught that because I was talking straight into it that last transmission. And I caught myself if I, as I was unkeying because I'm not used to using a hand mic. But uh, it's funny you caught that. All right, buddy. KJ4, are you it? Roger. Well, it's the characteristic of the microphone and the way you address it that, uh, you know, uh, does that. So, uh, uh, you know, as long as you just work it to the side, uh, that mic would work uh, great for you, the hand mic. 73 of Floyd Ketchel. It's KC9VKV. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout.